Hello watch fans, welcome to part 2 of my Vario watch straps review. I have to say again that I get to keep the straps that I'm reviewing, but I'll give you my honest unbiased opinion of the straps. Enjoy! Okay, let's get to the straps. I've been wearing both of them quite often the past week and I think I can give a better view of what I feel about them now. The first one would be the silicone strap. This is the black perforated one with orange stitching as you can see here. It's silicone so it's super soft and honestly I actually prefer them to rubber. Because of this softness, it conforms around the wrist really nicely. You can see it stretches and bends very easily. The orange stitching looks nice and tight and it's on the brighter shade of orange. There is a slight bulge throughout the middle section of the strap. On the top side, which gives an impression of padding, which I think is quite cool compared to just having a flat um, top. They are waterproof, machine washable and vegan friendly, like the Nato straps that I reviewed recently, which means that there are no animal parts in this product, which is a nice little touch. It definitely has a premium silicone feel to it, sort of a rubbery texture and doesn't feel like cheap silicone which I have had a few experience with those in the past. The crisply signed buckle is another feature that I've always liked, as you can see here. I always like it when a brand is confident enough to put their logo on their products, especially for straps. And I believe that the perforation in the strap allows for better breathability and it's quite hot here in Malaysia almost all the time and I don't find these straps to be uncomfortable at all. One drawback is the lack of holes in this strap. You can see that I have had to punch two extra holes here. Um, not the cleanest of punches but it really does um, show that there is a lack of hole for anyone who probably has uh, resizes of 6 inches or less would have some difficulty and you will have to really do what I did here which is to punch extra holes. I have about 5 and 3 quarter inch wrist and these extra holes are definitely necessary for it to fit. It does not come with quick release spring bars which I think is a bit of a miss. I know that some people don't really like them but I'm a huge proponent of them as I change my strap very often and it makes changing a breeze. Unfortunately like my previous review I cannot reliably comment on durability because again it's, I only had it for about I think now 2 weeks. and time will tell on how good it holds up. Overall, they feel premium for sure in terms of as far as silicone straps go. And they are the best silicone straps I've tried so far. I have to reiterate that the softness, suppleness and the nice texture makes it very comfortable and nice to touch as well. At about 14 US dollars, my verdict would be it's a good buy. And with the current discounts that Vario is offering, I would say that they are a great buy. And here is how the strap looks on different watches. Okay, let's get to the next strap, which is the vintage Epson Italian leather, and it's in scarlet red here. Immediately, the first thing I want to point out is that they have quick release spring bars, which again I must say should be a staple moving onwards for all straps. They really make strap changing so easy. This strap is made from Epsom full grain Italian leather, which is quite famous for its quality. In case you want to know, there are various grades of leather, and full grain leather is among the best you can get. There you go, it's genuine Italian leather. Epson leather is from leather from male calves with the pattern embossed. It is supposed to be more scratch and wear resistant. The embossed pattern on this particular one doesn't seem very pronounced and some people would like it, some people would not. Um, I prefer it a little bit more pronounced than it being a little bit more subtle here. In my experience, I prefer leather straps that are immediately supple and doesn't require any breaking in. This Upon receipt, I already noticed that it conforms around the wrist very easily. And the underside of this strap is also very nice and soft. The stitching is nice and tight. 
and I particularly like that they use gold threads for this um, scarlet coloured strap. Maybe the lighting isn't very clear but it is a little bit goldish in colour. This is the fourth strap that I'm reviewing from Vario and in all of them, the holes are cut really nicely and sealed nicely as well, which is quite impressive. For this particular strap, I didn't have to punch extra holes, though I had to utilize the last hole. Um, again, I have to say I have 5 and 3 quarter inch fists, which is a little bit smaller than usual, but at least they have enough holes. The Vario logo is etched onto the buckle here. Again, a touch that I've always liked, though I can't say much, anything much about the buckle, that I, except that it seems like a standard kind of buckle. Also, as per my previous review, Vario states that all straps are individually inspected in Singapore, which I would say reduces the risk of a buyer getting a defect product. One last thought would be the smell of leather. <laughs> I cannot with any confidence say that I'm an expert or not, but here it smells light and pleasant, not really in your face kind of smell, which is kind of nice. At 42 US dollars, I think it is a good buy as you are getting full grain Epson Italian leather and with the additional discounts when you buy more pieces of this leather strap, I think it becomes a great buy. That's all for today, um, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.